Hi, welcome to SBR Forum Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are previewing week 11 in uh, the NFL right now, and we're talking with Jeff Cadillac from jeffcadillac.com. And this week, uh, Jeff Cadillac did not get the, uh, the games that he specifically requested, but he agreed to take two of the remaining games that no one else wanted. And I think this will be a, a good change for you, Jeff. Jeff, thanks for being back with us this week. Thanks for having me, Peter. All right. How are things going at jeffcadillac.com recently? Well, this past weekend, I went over 500. Oh, uh, my nice. best bet of the week was New Orleans at home over Dallas. Mm. That came in nicely. And uh, things are looking up. Okay. Uh, I think this is going to be another good week. Awesome. Atlanta-Tampa Bay uh, is, is the first game we're going to cover. And it's not a surprise that uh, none of the other handicappers wanted to take this game. Tough line to analyze. Tampa Bay, uh, one or one and a half point home underdog. Total is 42 and a half or 43 and a half. Tampa Bay did get their first win last week, so good for them. They beat Miami, though. Miami's kind of in disarray. Atlanta, though, looks like they're, you know, low and maybe even headed even further down. They're off of a three straight blowout losses. But then again, you know, Tampa Bay, you know, yeah, they got their first win of the season last week, but they're still a dysfunctional team. They still don't seem like they're, you know, just, just very enthused to play under uh, Greg Schiano. I might take the under at 43 and a half, though, if I had to make a bet here. What do you think of these lines, Jeff? Well, I'll tell you something. The only people that are interested in this game this week are the people in Atlanta and Tampa Bay. Because oh, these no. are two teams that are definitely not going anywhere this season. And Atlanta is a big disappointment, as everybody knows. They were an inch shy of the Super Bowl last year. This year, they're two and seven. Uh, they haven't covered too many games. They've had three straight games where they had blowouts. Tampa Bay is just in a total disarray. You got Shiano there. There's a lot of, you know, riffs going on inside the locker room. Um, last week, Tampa Bay did get their first win, but it was a comeback. I mean, they were, if it wasn't for that big lead they had in the first half, they would have blown that game because they scored that fourth quarter uh, touchdown. And they beat a team that had, Miami had two yards rushing. I mean, two yards rushing. That's and they barely beat that team. That's, it, it's, it's terrible. I mean, you know, you look at this game on both sides, and uh, it's, it's, uh, it's pretty tough. But, you know, it comes down to me. I have to pick a winner in this game. Um, I think Atlanta is due for a mm. blowout. I think Tampa Bay, they finally got their one win. Uh, Atlanta, believe it or not, is better on the road than they've been in the Dome. Um, Atlanta in November, in a way, you know, me with the stats, I like uh, they're 26, 16 and one against the spread in November. I mean, you know, you got Tampa Bay, also the Bucks in the last 15 games, they're 4, 10 and one against the spread. Um, you got no running backs. Mike James broke his ankle and he was a nice replacement for Doug Martin, who was out for the rest of the year. Uh, you know, so I mean, both these teams are not really looking good, and I would take Atlanta laying the uh, point and a half against Tampa Bay. All right. Well, actually, uh, minus one is also a widely available number, so we can give you that one. Thanks so much, Jeff. Thank you, Peter.